Hello guys, my name is Akshar Patel and in this tutorial we are going to learn a thing called functions. So what is functions? Functions is a basically block of code that only executes, listen carefully, uh, functions is a block of code that only executes when it is called by user or by a programmer, right? So we will check by example, okay? So open your IDLE first, then open your script file, okay, script file. So how to define a function? If you want to define a function, then there is a keyword called DEF, right? DEF and your function name, by the way, right? Oh my, the sound is really crappy, but who knows? Let's continue our topic. So, let's write a simple function that prints hello world when it is called, right? So, let's define a function by def keyword. Then, print message is a function name starting and ending round, round bracket, right? And press enter and just print hello world right for you and then we have to call function how we can call function by its name right so here what our name functions name is print message then we will write print message g and then call it <coughs> so now f5 for run so it will give us print hello world right so, and another another uh, misconception between you cannot call function firstly and after you define it right Let, let's uh, let's see the error first okay so it will give me a name error that name print function is not defined so uh, I will explain you guys each and every this piece of code that so okay Python will execute your script starting from first line so you have to define your function first before you can you call it right mm -hmm. so you have to first define it function and then call right so I hope that this will clear you a very good amount of function right <clears throat> so we see simple function I'm not downing not down it right because for your understanding what is a function and now we will learn return statement using function right so let's use let's first create a function okay let's take an example uh, how you will pass an argument and return the sum of it right if you want to pass a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 10 and and you want to create a functions that function that return this two numbers summation right so let's create one function def get sum in bracket if you want to pass a function then you have to receive the argument right so first argument is a r 1 you can give any name either you can use a b for or you can use a, you can give any any name but i prefer different name right even na2 and then return statement sum sum is a but inbuilt function of python so you don't have to write e is equal to a plus b and return a plus b right just like this you don't have to oh, assign a variable and, and store it or perform an arithmetic operation then you return ans this statement you don't have to need it right just return sum of a1 and a2 right when it is called look let's run it first nothing will be happen so okay because we didn't call it right now function right so 
now we will call function get sum right so get sum and you have to pass let's uh, see the two tip you have to pass two values for a1 and a2 so we have two values a and b so that's going to pass it right and it will return something but let's run first and I will show you what happens now okay when it is written that it it may be either print print just like that or either it will store in some variable like this answer is equal to get some okay and now you are able to print the answer let's run it okay oh what happens integer object is not in okay sorry this is some is useful list object right so i do prefer 10 and 20 in single line right i pass a as a list of values and it will return sum of values right so answer a and look at okay my bad sorry so we will we are define a function called get sum that receives a1 as a list we are passing get some a right what is a? a is a list right and it will return sum of list sum of variable these items right so now we will print f5 for run right so this way you will getting 30 or this way you are using in return from a return statement right so i hope return statements will clear you some 55 percent of <laughs> functions right now the final final this is the last statement of function that is is prefix what is prefix keywords i will show you direct example and you will automatically understand what is prefix right so let's define a function called your name right <coughs> and here I will assign argument as a name is equal to Akshar, right? Open bracket and return or I either will, I will print here name, right? When the function is called, okay, your name, just call it. I do not pass name. It requires name, but I, I will leave it as empty right so I will run it it will not give me a error right so it will automatically print the default value which is aksar stored in noyam how can we pass the value right so name is equal to I will pass right a b c d okay now run it so this time we will not get aksar as a output let's see right we are getting a b c d so if you do not pass the value then the default value stored or defined in a function that will assign to variable right and if you want if you are passing the value the value of that like name is equal to a, a, a then this value is by default stored in here right so this is called prefix keywords in python and this is how functions works in python i hope you like it guys and this is uh, i think final topic of our beginner session um, or if any anything else uh, that remains that i will continue in next like tutorial so thank you so much guys and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time thank you so much